All right. Oh. Grab my controller. Grab my cat. How's everyone doing today? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Twice. This here is Spook. Together we're twice marked. No, those words don't make sense when you cram them together. Don't worry about it too much. We're gonna go to the spa, right? That seems relaxing before a final push. If you haven't seen it, welcome back to Sea of Stars. Some new little services. I share. I don't know if that gives us anything, though. You're into a deep meditation reflected upon the challenges ahead. She noticed the tension in her right shoulder was gone. Attack increased by nine. So each time I can buff everybody. All right, it's not too shabby. Wish the springs had been slightly hotter, but his upper back still felt tremendous relief. He rose with even more spring in his step. Yeah, welcome back. We are 100 percenting this game. We are very close to the true ending. Very close. Magic attack. Yep. Let's a specialize just a little bit more. Appreciate it. Uh, Rashawn probably next. Don't really know how you get Rashawn relaxed. Exactly. Um, it's a puppet. Um, but Rashawn didn't actually bathe in the water that day. It felt to everyone as if part of him was thankful the party had so readily invested in his well-being. Whatever thoughts he lost himself in, or whether he was even out there at all, no one would ever know. Good evening to you, good-looking gentleman as well. Thank you, Pyre. How are you doing today, my friend? Magic defense. That's not as exciting. Um, we got... We've probably got enough to sell stuff, right? I mean, the spa is giving us permanent stat buffs. That's hard to say no to. That's four, but we need up to... Do I, do I just get rid of this? This is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna hold on to the abacus just because we we have it. And we're gonna. Well, some of these. Some of those. Back to the apples. Alright. It's enough for everybody to have a spa day. I'm actually not sure if a spa day would be good for the side work. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Right? Good, Chelsea must be out, because Spook is here. Your words cut deep, they hurt, and they're true. <laughs> Sarai didn't really see the point, but she decided to play along anyway. When she realized that the experience wasn't only physical, embraced the silence and ended up feeling more energized. Wow. Let her face half rust off. <laughs> she really did just keep the metal part, huh? Attack increased by nine. Pretty good, pretty good. And let's finish with Psst. We got a few treasures left to find. And then we're all in on the uh, end of the story. Though he was unable to feel the heat, Psst, had fun looking underwater through his glass body. He spent some time meditating on the idea of a container within a container and altering his shape to make the water move and captivating ways. Nice. 
really glad they managed to flesh out such a late game character. I mean, yeah. No joke. I have played so many JRPGs, and the late game characters usually just suck butts. Not in terms of, I mean, they're usually pretty powerful, but like, you don't really have a connection to them. Unless they are, like, you know, the villain who changes his tune, you know, 80% of the way through the game, which happens occasionally. Spoilers for Chrono Trigger. And then that can work. But just introducing a character you've just met? Really difficult. I'm really impressed. <laughs> like, really impressed. That might be my favorite part of the game. Seemed like an impossible task. Alright, so that's clear, that's clear, that's clear, that's clear, that's clear. The sleeper isn't just brisk, right? Okay. Hey, that's good, that's good. Still pond, we've got stuff left. But I think we're going there in the future. And then Wraith in the Necromancer's Lair. And I think the mansion too, right? Oh. Ooh. The lair and the mansion, huh? I'm wary about Brisk because we know the pelican, golden pelican we haven't been. So let's just clear out the necromancer's lair and the uh, haunted mansion. And from there, let's start the final approach and see what... What gets us where? <laughs> never played Chrono Trigger? Someone never got around to it. Seen on GDQ a few times, though. It's really interesting, because, like, that game can be so eminently speedrun, because they give you the ability to... Maybe we'll check the end first. Oh, just kidding. Uh... Okay. Okay, that was extremely painless. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that would be a lot worse. <laughs> because, like, really early on in that game, they give you the chance to just be like, oh yeah, you can beat the final boss now. Like, there's a bunch of different endings based on how and when you defeat the final boss. And I think it's pretty neat. That's just for my isn't it? I can't get to the Necromancer's Tower without going through the graveyard. Brutal. Alright. Don't know how I missed that the first time. Could not tell you. In my defense, that was like the... Climax of Act 1. But that's all I got for you, to be honest. We've had a couple of those. Because we're so thorough, right? And then we just get got by the stupidest ones. <laughs> what can you do? At least it's easy to navigate around. You really should. Chrono Trigger, no joke, holds up to this day. And, like, it's not... That's not even nostalgia goggles. It's just, like, this is really good. It still does things that I wish other games did. And I'm just, like, blown away when they don't take that advice. Like, yeah, it's a bit simplistic in terms of, like, main character, but I think the setting is phenomenal. Music, great. It has an anthropomorphic frog, who's my favorite character. Have I completed Golden Sun yet? Nope. Nope. It's on the backlog. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry. There's too many JRPGs. And when I got Mother 3, my friend threatened me under pain of death to play that first. And she means it. I don't want to die. So I'm hoping... Because you get the Grapplo in here that I just... I missed a... All I did was miss a grapple somewhere. That's... That's the hope. I have played some of it, and I thought it was really good. I'm a large, large fan of... Um, Puzzle dungeons in any... Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No, 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 it's not fine. Puzzle dungeons in general. JRPG, JRPG dungeons can get uh, pretty, pretty, pretty tedious. If you don't give them something else to do besides walking around in confusing layouts. So actual puzzles makes me real happy. Hmm. The sparks from rabbits sort of is a nod to the system in Golden Sun. Yeah, it's the the gin, right? Genie, gin. I can't remember which which of it it is, but it rings a bell. This is going to be far more painful, I think, finding the treasure chest here. not be anything down there, fingers crossed. <laughs> also, y'all, I just realized I have a wedding uh, to go to the day that both Mario and Spider-Man come out, and I, I kind of didn't realize that for a while, and um, I had just a revelation as I was walking with Chelsea today, and I, I just, I just started sobbing. <laughs> just, God dang it. Oh, there it is. It doesn't help me though. More holidays? No, not holidays. That's just next weekend. Friend just platinum bloodborne, so it was painful because he had to complete it three times. Haha. 
Yes, I also had to do that. Except I cloud saved right at the end of the game, so I only had to complete it once. Because <laughs> I wasn't going to play that three times. Because the ending is only changes right at the end. It's saying yes or no. That's two endings, and the third ending is consuming an umbilical cord. So you can just wait on consuming that. I tell him you can do that now and see how mad he gets. Please do. It was one of those strokes of genius moments that I had occasionally that made me... I just felt so big-brained. If there's another treasure in either of those places, I'll be shocked. I mean, though, congrats, because, like, Platinum and Bloodborne. Oof. It's not so much, like, the optional bosses. Though, I mean, like, if if you're doing the DLC, it is. Oof. All the DLC bosses are crazy. Um, but you have to go through, like, a ton of the optional uh, chalice dungeons, which are semi-regulated. And there's, like, a set that you have to do. And one of them halves your health and then puts you against a bunch of enemies that do all of your health in one hit. All bosses, at least. It's, uh... Truly cruel. I still remember that part. The rest of it, not so bad. Bloodborne's an excellent game. Easy 10 out of 10 for me. What do we got? Wraith Island is complete. Alright. You know what that means. Let's race towards the end here. It's time. I haven't cooked every recipe, but I also don't think I've gotten every recipe yet. I'm not too worried about it. Because there's a legendary feast that we can get... Goodbye. Um, and we have in our inventory, I think. Yeah, but we don't have the recipe for it yet, so. He's gonna platinum the new Armored Core game? Oh my, so he's, yeah, he's a, he's a masochist. That's easily summed up. That's just grotesque. I mean, I platinum both of the new God of Wars, but that was just... I just do them if they're fun. That's all. Seems we have everything now. You know about this thing? Yes, the Great Alchemist told me about the Chrono Phase while he was working on my living glass form. Rashan left us something? The Chronophage is his parting gift to you. It was enchanted to activate in response to your initial deeds as up-and-coming guardian gods. A gift? That's how he described it. I get the sense he wished to take responsibility for something. It should take us somewhere. All he knows how to open it, and that only the leader Zale and I can go. You sure this is safe? Yes, the Great Alchemist could have stopped you at any time if that had been his wish. How do we open his gift? It must provide the memento of a happy memory. He said you wouldn't know. Ah, oh, yeah, the cookie jar we've had since the beginning of the game! Because he gave us... Garl gave us that... Oh, that's nice. Good 
Because he snuck the, uh... Oh, we're back to the time shards. So vision? No, he placed an anchor in time so that you could return here and watch your friend die over and over again. <laughs> I know what my role is, but we must be quick. You see? This is your gift. Your friend's life. I'll take his place. You hurry and get him out of here. Believe in me, Brave Monk. It won't hurt, but my will is strong. I can take the hit. We'll stack now before the diversion is over. Thank you. Just don't leave me buried under the tree for too long, okay? We literally just swapped out a dummy. Steady now. Oh, he can even form himself into guard. Hey. What happened? Wait, is that? Dog girl's gonna freak when it sees the half of the face. Stanley, what are you waiting for? God, oh, it's so good to see you. Is this real? Sure is. Guys, I've been watching all along. I'm so proud of you. Everything you've accomplished. It's unbelievable. Hey, we're supposed to... Oof, right. We should go now. Our reunion can wait. You well enough to travel? Never been better. All right, let's go dig up my grave. Can't wait to meet my savior. The achievement I just got was New Garl Plus. <laughs> Sorry I had to wait all this time. I thought it'd be instantaneous or something. Anyway, thanks again. Just please don't mention it. No way. I owe you big time. Guys, I there's so much I wish I could share. Not allowed to talk about what I saw on the other side, but when I came back, they said they would grant me one wish. Did you pick a good one? Sure did, but... I can wait. I want to be the one cooking for tonight. I wish the man's a bit of an errand, though, so we don't have to go for it if we don't have time. I'll tell you at camp later if you want. Sounds good. Wasn't expecting that, not gonna lie. Me neither. Reunited with their best friend, Valir and Zael, enjoy an evening of celebration and feel familiar warmth returning at last. Though I kind of was, because Chrono Trigger also does a similar thing. They really like Chrono Trigger, and I do too. It's a good game. But it's still a very pleasant surprise. What a time, huh? Sure, I didn't have Resurrection on my list when we started our adventure. One more fatigue storybook, I guess. Seriously, though, it did get kind of scary. Thanks for pulling me out of there. You know, activating the Chronophage took a lot of effort. We'd have done it faster if we knew. And come on, you do the same for us. In a heartbeat. Weren't you going to, like, say something? Right, yeah, 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 So I'm not allowed to talk about what I saw on the other side, but when it became clear I would return, I was allowed to make a single wish. Dinner with all my friends at the Golden Pelican. <laughs> that's your, that was your wish. Okay. No, that's great. I'm going to host my own reverse funeral, and I want the best food there is. I like this guy. Thing is, though, I'm not too sure how that works. All I was given is this fishing hook, the hook of time. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Island I feel is connected to the magic fish hook. Yes, that makes sense. The one that looks like a splatling from Splatoon. Well, sheesh. Everyone ate and slept better than the night they had since the fight against the Dweller of Strife. Uh... Garl, you, uh, what's your equipment looking like? Yeah, yeah, not bad, actually. Um, that's fine, yeah. Cornucopia's back. Which gives everyone 20 extra HP. 
heck, life is good, yo. See, this is what you do for a 100% true ending. Make it actually feel worthwhile. I don't remember how to get out of here. <laughs> I'm overcome with emotion. I think it's this way. <laughs> Wait, that means Garl can go to the spa, too. Did not care about discount Robocop. I mean, I think the f phrase of I've been watching. Oh, come on. Whatever. Just the phrase I've been watching you for the whole time. Like, I feel like means that we don't need to catch him up. Even though he was pulled out of time at a previous moment in, in time. You get me? You following me? I think I'm following myself. Out of these fights. I don't want them. Average cyberpunk citizen, Sarai, you mean? Yeah. Agreed. On the plus side, that, that weekend that I'm gonna miss a bunch of games because of a wedding. Uh, is not the weekend after, which would be missing the debut of Alan Wake 2. Given the three games, the one I'd most like to play at the start is that anyways. Small blessings. Uh... Oh, right. Plop. there maybe Stone mouth. That worked for Aladdin. I see that. I see you. Oh, actual monsters to fight. Kinda didn't expect it, to be honest. Started playing Cyberpunk and seeing the same mom rock move 12 times while walking after each other. Was that like recently or not so recent? Alright, you copy us, don't you? last night. That checks out. <laughs> uh, where does this go? Because I have to entertain myself on Wednesday. So I'm sorry. I need a little bit of time to myself. For now. Ooh, what's this? 
fishing dungeon key. Okay. I don't keep up my connections with my friends, I'll lose them all. <laughs> hey, at least we're doing a Friday stream this week and two two weeks from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're back on a somewhat normal schedule. Force them into streams? Yeah, I can do that, but the problem is then I have to be ready for th the mute button. <laughs> Fish shaped keyhole behind the statue, huh? Alright. Um... Fish key. It was a save, by the way. The glowing one in the key, all you need to do is catch it. Okay, that's great, but like, what are these? A lunar trout. Okay, well, you're dead now. Lunar trout. The only one I trust is Chelsea. <laughs> you twice the answer in one day. That's fair enough. If I can get him to sit still for more than an hour at a time. Why did I do this? I could have broken this completely. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Was barn filled up again? Uh, let's see. When did we check it last? Labor Day? So that was early September. How can I be 75% of a clone? It was not great. But I could still make it work for like a get together. I am pretty nervous about like Thanksgiving era and Christmas time, so we'll have to see. That's usually when it gets worse because he starts bringing everything inside that he's been hiding outside. <laughs> Is dangerous. Um, okay, nothing there then. More fishing. That's a big fish. Do I get eaten if I like go in? Here? Nope. Okay. Oh, my lord. We've gone and done, Mister. Sorry, it's just I was giving this easy now, son. I'm leaving this conversation. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that you need the hook of time to get in here. And if there's another thing I know for sure, it's that they don't just give up the hook of time to anyone. I just asked, really. Right. Look, I get it. I also got to return. Point is, they must have liked you a lot. Oh, I don't know about that. The oblivious type, huh? Fine, I'll bite. What exactly did you ask for? 
Just wanted dinner with my friends at the Golden Pelican and Risk. Oh yeah? Now that does change everything, doesn't it? Do you know about the place? Know about it. I built it myself. Really? Chef Bass, at your service. Oh wait, you're the chef? In the flesh. So, can we have the dinner? Be quite the disappointment if I said no at this point, huh? You and your friends are officially invited. How many will be attending? How many can we be? It's your wish, son. You tell me. Ah, this is too much. Can't see. Definitely all of us here. Most Malcolm and Teeks and the Pirates. Oh, I bet Marie will show up, too. There will be 12 of us, if that's okay. Good on you for making it count. Right up. How does it work? Do we just show up with the Golden Pelican? That you do. Then you give this to Gaspar. This is exciting. Thanks, Chef Bass. You got it. Is that when you start getting heavier snows? Yeah, for the most part. He doesn't want things buried underneath. Get brown in the bottom for safekeeping. Is it a seafood place? A good question. You know, let's just let's just hope not. The ethical quandaries brought up in this uh, frightened me, actually. All right, Still Pond Island is now cleared. We're going back to Brisk, where there is still treasure that awaits. Hopefully, in the Golden Pelican. We'll see. This is the only place I find pretty confusing in its layout, so I'm kind of hoping we found everything. But I also kind of wouldn't be shocked if we didn't. Chump change chest, 5G, how many chests, keeps contents. Yes. And go. You're welcome. I wish that counted. Oh, wait. I think we found it. Oh! Yeah, I just got the every single treasure chest. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Easy peasy. Knew it all along. Uh, I need to sell a bit more. with Garl, too. <laughs> Last time from the black market? No, I think I finally did go get that. We can check on our way out, though. Welcome to the Golden Pelican. Did you have a reservation for today? Sure did. Private infestation from our chef. You'll need proper attire for this special occasion. Please gather the other guests. Our tailors will be right with you. Wow, dinner and... What's the snazzy clothes? Excellent choice, sir. Uh, I don't know. It can look great on you. Zaya looks like a cowboy. You sit still, Mr. Malcolm. You're almost finished. Fancy ain't my middle name, but it's like Beltrade said. Oh, you got a bow tie on top. <laughs> oh no, that's actually perfect. Moment of your attention. Dinner's ready to be served, please. Did they give Malcolm a toupee? Gaspar. 
Should there be anything else you need, just let me know. Thanks. You gotta do the honors, man. Oh, I don't, I don't know. This is all about all of us. We should just dig in. Oh, the rain, was it? I'm sure you understand. Tradition demands that, of course. <clears throat> Attention, please. We are gathered here today to mark the return of someone truly special. Yum, yum. And then they let me keep the fort. Oh no, it's a little, it's a little beret-like cat or a driver cat. Bit of an elemental mage myself. I must say, your work there was quite the impressive feat. I only did it for Garo. He did so much for me, a lot more than I could ask for. Can do more if we could. More than bring me back to life. I'd like to see that. In spite of it all, you gave it a whole lot more than you took. So good on you. To Garl. Can't believe how lucky I am to have all. Guess the final battle awaits. We can worry about that tomorrow. Let's just make the best of this moment. Oh, Gaspar? Sir? Is it too late now for me to make a toast? Whatever you fancy. This is your moment. Great! Let's see here. Thank you, my dear friends, for joining me in celebration. Tonight I raise my glass above my heart. To Teeks for her unwavering support and unquenchable thirst for knowledge. To Teeks. To Malcomid for teaching us that one can always turn their life around no matter their age. Isn't Malcomid like five years old? To Yolan, Valtrade, and Kimithin for their spirit of adventure and for always keeping their eyes on the target no matter how dire things get. To Moraine for standing firm in the face of insurmountable grief and never wavering in his faith in my friends. Strive for enduring the impossible and being the coolest person I know. To Rashawn and Bzzzt for saving my life. And to Valir and Zael for getting me out of Mooncrano and letting me travel the world to encounter countless, encounter countless wonders. But most importantly, for being the best friends anyone could ask for. On this warm evening, the abundance of food and good times with his loved ones gave Carl an epiphany, the ultimate meal. Legendary feast? In question pack 11 for some reason? <laughs> I guess we'll go do that. <laughs> she's made of metal, of course she's cool. <laughs> she's cold! <laughs> Fair. And true. Again, we're going to miss one achievement because it asked us to defeat 10 bosses with a relic that we got in the post game, and there's not 10 bosses left, so we need to do New Game Plus to do that. I'm not going to do it because that relic reduces my health by 95%, and then you have to get perfect timing. And I'm not sure. Yeah, we did get all of them. Um, I'm not sure the timing required something I want to deal with. But we will be getting the true ending. And well, as much else as we can do, too. Alright, so. It's a 99.9% .9 channel. That's what happened with uh, Chicory as well. We had to finish it off. Uh, channel. But that was more of a time time limit than anything else. <laughs> it's a true ending channel, alright? It's whatever I say it is. <laughs> Still don't know what the flimsy hammers are for. Maybe something about the true ending? Alright. Yep. Boom, boom, bam, garl. an asterisk included channel. Oh, don't. Asterisk should be a forbidden word around here. That's what all my projects have been relating to for the past six months is because we're not getting things connecting and they just spit back asterisks. 
I'm going to let it first. Soon saw into something you want to tell Sarai. Despite his lack of concentration, he enjoyed the experience overall and appreciated how good it felt to give his feet a break. <laughs> what do you got for me? Defense? Max HP by 35. And another achievement. Use the spa for all six. Sure thing, boss. Uh, where do I cook? Can I cook here? No. Where do I cook? That fire does not turn... If I rest, will you let me cook? Or can I cook at that? I can cook here. Cool. Cook. Legendary feast. Hopefully, we have all of them. that. I'm not sure I made this before or not. Couldn't tell you. That was the one we needed to make. Alright. We cooked every recipe. Life is good. Let's just say non-New Game Plus channel. I gotta say, y'all, just everything you hoped for. Well, that's good. Me too. Ever since I saw lasagna the other day in this, I was just like, I could use some more. Have I given you all the music notes? Now I have. I didn't get an achievement for it, but I, you know, I gave it to you. Uh, now the question pack, and then it sounds like we need to beat the final boss again. Oh man, wait, the uh, the Fleshmancer is going to have a a bad time because <laughs> he thinks Garl's dead. Shepherd's Pie the other day? I had one for dinner out in Salem, though uh, so they called it something like Meat Hunter's Pie or something weird. Where am I going? Uh, it was pretty good. I think it was a little too much meat and a little not enough other things. But, oh, and it was, like, just mashed potatoes rather than, like, an actual crust. I feel like the actual crust kind of holds things together, you know? That's why bread bowls are so popular. Do I want to play? I sure do. Since there's a first appeared first in Relier's uh, was Autumn Hills. Wait, was it not? Glacial Peak was before that? Wild. An ancient battle between the Molkin Mages and the Kunis Nuku. The Zealots was the name used to refer to in the moment when the Sky Servant appeared. Um, great summoning? Yeah. You can have cheesy mash on the top to give it a proper cuff. Crust. Agreed. For sure. Cross all fishing lakes. 23. After focusing a for all on a diversion, Rashawn placed an anchor in time linked to a magic device where he later placed in the Moorlands. What was the device called? Chronophage. He was three people in charge of the ruling expedition that found the clues. Uh. Yep. Here in Lucent, which item had to be given to a ghost in order to obtain the key that unlocked the shed. Uh, turbo cookie. Next question. Slush Master Acolytes gave Duke Aventry the magic shard that would summon the Night Shroud. I could not tell you. Okay. 
girl, Colonel Page, da da da. Those two. <laughs> Ancient battle, that was great summoning. In his pursuit to achieve the great alchemical feat known as Living Glass, what was the one ingredient Rashawn had always been missing in his subject? Unbreakable will. Numbers obtained by putting together the base MP cost for Moonerang and Dash Strike, and then subtracting the cost of Petrichor. And I think that's 14 minus 12. Yeah. Once all fishing links, 23. Or the names three people. What was the name of the one in charge of the team that built? I don't remember. Those names all look the same to me. Decor. When fighting the gun goddess, how many bullets would be fired by Pan the Famer? If two had previously been destroyed, it'd be six. Here in Lucent, needed the turbo cookie. When playing meals, which of these units deals the most damage to the enemy bulwark? Not the priests. Uh level two warrior does five. I think that's gotta be it. How many questions are there? Ugh, it's Glacial Peak, I guess. Well, actually, wait, it might be Clockwork. Wasn't Glacial Peak behind it? That's no, Glacial Peak. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whew. What do we got? Sapphire Ingot and a Chief Pro rank in every single. Mushroom Packs were the Lore Master. Ultimate prize is... Oh my god, what do we do with the flimsy hammers? I don't know, but I got three of them now. But yeah, people definitely skimp on the vegetables and the changes in texture. Yeah, otherwise it's just a lot of meat. Put some peas and carrots in there. Mm -hmm. Alright. Final boss time? I don't know if anything changed, but let's fight the final boss again, to be sure. I feel like it has to, right? Adding Garl into a battle with a guy who thinks he killed Garl. I mean, it sounds hysterical. I myself very excited. Peas, peppers, onions, and onion gravy. Oh, onion gravy sounds good. Yeah, that would be good. Are we good on everything? We are. Okay. One more save. Let's do this thing. Kitty, I promise it's just the plastic witch that Chelsea hung outside. Like a freak. Floating in the wind. I know. I know. Music's amazing here. It's some of the best, honestly whole game incredibly solid which I guess probably isn't coming as a surprise considering their first round soundtrack was really good but there's some darn tootin bops in here too some real jam llamas hey fleshmancer so we're back Specifically, I'm back. You made it. Congratulations, you've been quite the nuisance. Prepare yourself. Prepare myself. My foolish child fighting solstice warriors is beneath me. 
Make it all the way here. So I'll play by the rules. The time has come to decide on the fate of the realm and all its worlds. Can you defeat my strongest time? Blah, blah, blah. I'm supreme. Blah, blah, blah. Evil is not place anymore. They're boastful. No matter if you settled them. Oh, there's Garl. Call on you, my champion. Hey, you coward. How about fighting your own battles for a change? <laughs> you. Why do you do is corrupt everything you touch and make people suffer? I'm kicking you out. You would challenge a god. God, I told you once, you son of a creep. You're nothing but a loser. Might be controversial, but I think Messenger still had a better soundtrack. I agree. I still think it's quite good. But I agree. There's probably like half a dozen earworms in this one, and I can just listen to the entire Messenger soundtrack. And just... I'll listen to the, the soundtracks back-to-back -back where they're the same tune, but... 16-bit versus 8-bit? There'll be no time travel trick saving you this time. Come then. Eternal pain awaits. Gross. Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna hit him as many times as possible <laughs> with with Garl. It just seems appropriate. That's a spicy amount of damage. We got an extra turn, okay, so in that case we're gonna nourish and then swap out for beast. Uh, actually, wait, we've totally got enough for the soon ring. be able to swap any time.
Um, we don't have enough for Disorient. Uh-oh. We do have enough for what, what, what I actually want to do, which is... Heal everybody up. Ultimate's too good. It's too good. It, it just it does the job way better than anything else. First of all. Well, I guess we'll break part of it. Man, the best move in the game, go figure. Oh, that, that wasn't nearly as bad as your other attacks, though. Uh... How much I can do about it, so let's just heal up. hit as much as I would like it to, to be honest. I wonder if we just abeyance? Don't, nope, sure don't. Doesn't do any damage to the rest of them. about that time again, I think. Well, hello. 
realize I'm still the only one here, huh? Oh, right when I use that? That's not nice. That's very mean. Sure, 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 sure. I forget how to die. I remember how to die. to think about that. I didn't expect to be tossed into the, uh... Rootin' tootin' shootin' part. so to speak. I wonder how long I'll have to wait to try that again. Keeps the health off, and we just have to continue fighting until we get to another part of it. I don't know. Set the fight? Heck if I know. Uh oh. Alright, oh, but we held on with one HP if we're above half. I remember that. Time for Arcane Barrage, probably? One time to biff that. It was right there. Uh, 
Uh, we do actually have the ability to Sunarang. We need to counter for how many times we use this in a fight, because we're at four. And I have no idea if we're close or not close. No clue. Get the MP up. Boom, bam. I guess let's see. Okay, so it, the health continues. That was all I was allowed? Uh, maybe we actually have a super beam to thank soon. Not a good look. Oh. I don't know what that does for us, actually. Nothing, I guess. <laughs> like, was it for was it for shits and giggles? I don't feel like I did any damage, but maybe we did. I mean, I won the battle, second time around. I 
now that I wasn't taken completely unawares of what I was doing. Uh, I don't know if Disorient's even gonna super work for us. I'd rather just nourish. That's fine overall. Again, I don't even know if I should move around. Eh, maybe I should keep the AOE stuff. We don't really know what these do yet. And I'd, I'd be odd. It'd be great if I never found out. Um. take care of. The Sorient takes care of one poison. enough. Like, I could break two of those, but not three. I don't know what it does, but I'm not excited for it. Yeah. Swamp, Petrichor, probably. Yeah, I know we're gonna get a heal, but. I don't have the skills to pay said bills. Uh, uh, we do have a combo, though. Feels, I mean, kind of feels like a waste because it, it would charge so much of our combo meter, but. Basically, I mean, that could have been a lot worse. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we don't have the Sooner Ring, so it's it's ultimate time. Very long fight. Yeah. I mean, I wish I knew what beating him did in the the like shoot up section. That would be cool. Um, I'm trying to think about that. This will get us some MP back. This will get us more MP back. Then I disorient. No, that still won't work. No, oh, wait, no, I, I will. As long as it removed the one I needed it to. Well, you know, Fleshmancer, all powerful, weird god thing. Combo it to break four of it. That's not terrible. That's only two at least. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Just one turn. No, oh, it's gonna be the heckin' tendrils again, ain't it? So there's no way I can. Whatever. <laughs> I would love to know how much health he has at this point, though. It's getting a little, uh, a little spicy around these parts. KO of the day, that's fine. It's also fine. We're both gonna revive. Stop! Killing me. How is this possible? How? Better start believing. We're kicking you out. 
Kick him. Why am I not allowed to kick the tar out of him? I guess it's fine. We're free. It's been so long. Hope. Yep, face the world eater. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, yeah, so many worlds. Goodbye. Well, I'll stop being so dramatic. It's probably she'll visit from time to time, okay? I, of course. See? That's more like it. We'll see you soon, Garl. First we... Yeah, I know. You do your lawn and soul and stuff whenever you have to. But you always be a Valir and Zale to me. I didn't want it any other way. Seriously, we did something good here. You guys are the best. Go on, then. Don't you ever miss my birthday. You can count on it. They didn't before, either. But he died. <laughs> Which was a lot sadder. They did get a good animator for those scenes. We should... Wait! Before you go, can I just... Right. Your generations, yada yada yada. Stay safe. Blah 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 blah. We've seen this before. Just not the stuff with Garo. Do I have to do this again? I do. Okay. Well... Such is life. Guess we'll uh, storm through this. Because I still don't know what the flimsy hammers are for. <laughs> still get the Space Invaders part. Yeah, I'm not sure what it did. Did we need to defeat that once before... Uh... We could finalize the boss fight? Did it do a number amount, like, a big amount of damage to him? I don't. Couldn't tell you. It was more satisfying actually beating the Flesh Man, sir. Super speed, yep, 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 yep. See if there's any new flashback slash flash forward scenes. I think that was new. I don't remember that happening. 
Can't wait for ludicrous speed. Very excited. Yeah, I don't remember that either. Though, did I have a... I don't think I had a spa at the start. Or at the end of our first ending. <laughs> While this happens, though, I'm definitely going to look up what the heck flimsy hammers do. Positive note, I wasn't supposed to be able to do anything yet. Oh, even the champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, you're gonna get sliced in half. Oh, no, he's fine. Ultra speed! Elder Mist becomes Elder Bzzzt. <laughs> Wait, let's pick one out. Peter Sokolovsky. There you go. I know you're watching this. <laughs> You've been recognized. There's the... There's Buddy, the best dog, and the special thanks. Hey. As there should be. I'm telling you, that's gonna become that clockwork butler. <laughs> From the messenger. Apparently there's gonna be little DLC uh, packs for this, just like there was for messenger. Well, there was one for the messenger, and then they decided to make a new game instead. Which might happen here, too. But whenever it comes out, we'll definitely play it. Hey, it's that turd. Wait, you are definitely... S oh, right. You're technically alive, aren't you? Because I didn't kill you in the true ending. And thank you for playing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So we gather each year, they fly, remember their story, high sage teaks, blah blah blah, fly on the warrior cook's birthday. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Quite fitting, don't you think? Must check on the Crips renovations. A new shirt, because I don't think I've seen it before. Um, it's something I haven't worn in a while, I found in the back. It's uh do you remember playing a short hike? It was not, uh, D. I don't know what that means. <laughs> What's the progress? Pretty good. Mars notes of the flood. The window. Anyways, this is the, uh, the national park from, from a short hike. late if you don't leave soon. Oops. Yeah, I guess I should head out. Hey, 
Hey, old friend. Happy birthday, Master. For the millionth time, please stop calling me that. Are you ready to go, then? Oh, yeah. Can't be late. Oh, back at the starting point. Cute. Just right. Right on time. Come on, don't be shy now. No fair, they didn't get to age a day. Carl's looking rugged and handsome. They just, they're the same age. That's cute. See? And that's why we couldn't do anything. <laughs> because there's a fourth flimsy heckin' hammer. Gold star. Gold star. We'll suck when he dies and they're still alive. Let's, let's just not think about it. Because it makes me too sad. All right. So, there is one last Easter egg to prove our true mastery of 100%. By true master, I mean I looked it up because there's no way in hell we were finding this. There is absolutely no hints towards this. If anything, it was it was crowdsourced. Though I do need to check, did we miss a relic? Am I crazy? I don't think we got the achievement for listening to all the relic stories. I could be wrong though. here. Oh, we did find a new artifact. When did we do that? was a fair leader who cared not for tight oh you know what this is probably to tell us the story of the queen that was stories say she spent equal time at aventry Ma oh no it's oh right we did get an artifact from doing the duke aventry quest she spent equal time at aventry manor she did in town with her people under her reign lucent new prosperity and upheld its title as bastion of light like never before by her sign was duke aventry a proud noble and fierce defender of his land and people Ever stalwart, it said that the flame of his dedication to Lucent Bird only cooler than that of his fiery love for a little bit. Despite the looming threat of the Clockwork Castle, they managed to keep their people safe, happy, and hopeful. One night during a long journey abroad, like so many others, Duke Aventry was awoken by an emissary carrying urgent orders. Awilda demanded he return to Lucent at once, offering no explanation beyond hinting at some dire threat. When the Duke arrived, he was greeted by a raging firestorm. A sizable portion of the land was burning, but there were no enemy forces in sight. A sun solstice warrior turned evil. Hiding somewhere on the island, he would come out once a day to deplete his power, slowly burning away at the landscape. Thanks to the trail of conflagration, he was easily tracked. Their fight persisted for days on end, but for his all, all his might, Duke Aventry was unable to defeat the evil Solstice Warrior. Seeing the collateral damage caused by their battle, he accepted they were at a stalemate and retreated in order to further avoid further destruction on his already bleeding land. Struck by despair in the face of his inability to protect his people, Duke Aventry let his guard down and in walked the enemy. Fleshmaster Acolyte 2 approached in disguise and offered him a magic shard. Ah, this was the part that I never got in the quizzes. This ancient shard was made by the Ovates themselves, she lied, fully aware of Duke Aventry's weakened state of mind. It will shroud your island in complete darkness for one day, blocking all light from the sun and moon. My enemy's powers would... But playing to Duke Aventry's sense of honor, to gave him the final nudge. Solstice Warrior hasn't been playing by the rules either. Surely you wish to protect your people, she asked. Duke Aventry accepted the shard and thanked her for her help. Simply smash the shard with conviction, its magic will awaken. 
wasted no time, of course. By voluntarily activating the curse on his island blade right into the Acolyte's hands. Everything went fine at first. Night Shroud covered the land, and Dugavantry made short work of the weakened Solstice Warrior. The celebrations began, they put out a call for wind mages to gather waves strong enough to flood the eastern part of the island. Flames were extinguished at last, but in doing so, those areas were transformed into the famous swamps we know today. It was a change welcomed by Owl, for it came hand in hand with their victory. It took a few weeks until it became clear that all the Night Shroud would... To all that the Night Shroud would never recede. Despite overwhelming support from his people, Duke Amitri could not forgive himself for his mistake. Finally realizing who had really given him the magic shard, he departed for the Clockwork Castle. On that day, Duke Amitri played into the Acolyte's hands for the second time. While he was away, Fleshmancer Acolyte three infiltrated the manor and killed Olilda. Thus was the ritual completed and a seed of evil was planted in the mansion, which a few centuries later would grow into the Dweller of Woe. Completely defeated, over the following days, Duke Amitri died of sadness and despair. As if fate hadn't been cruel enough, over 200 years later, Ramaya found his urn and raised him from the dead to be her bodyguard. For decades, the Duke roamed the swamps he once ruled over, his memory completely gone, feeling nothing save for an unexplainable sadness. In bouts of clarity, he would feel a brief but very deep yearning for something he just couldn't put his finger on. Such was the Duke's lot for half a century, until one day young Solstice Warriors reclaimed the locket and brought it to him. His memory now restored, Aventry smashed the locket, and in doing so broke the tether binding his soul to the material plane. At long last, he found peace and was free to leave this world. The end. And another achievement. All right, now for the Easter egg. I don't know what the Easter egg is because everyone says we well, don't want to spoil it, but here's how you get to it. And if you think this was achievable without me going absolutely nuts, I don't know who you are. So, you know how each of these goes to, like, a different uh, crypt of backers, right? So, you have to go to this one specifically. And then you have to go to this, not this one, this one? What does this one even say? Oh, it's broken. But like, there are other broken ones that don't move. Anyways, this was never happening. <laughs> then you go to this one and you're like, oh, it looks pretty flimsy. Boom. And then you're like, oh, pretty flimsy wall. Boom. Va boom. And finally, bada bing. Now, if there's a fifth wall, I'll cry. There's not. Excuse me. Have we met before? Well, if we have and you're about to complain about some time paradox, maybe consider that it was you who just broke the fourth wall. You're probably not getting a raise either, but the cabinet's all yours if you want to knock yourself out. Ah, it's the dev team, probably. Also, Yasunori Mitsuda uh, composed for this game, which uh, 
in case you wondered, was the composer for Chrono Trigger. Is that just a burger on a pie chart? Okay. Dog? Is that the best boy? It is, buddy. The bananas on the table look a little off. I didn't even notice them. Show me the nanners. Oh god, they look terrible. You're right. Disgusting. Well, anyways. Look at you. Made it to the end. That's it. Fair enough. Well, that was Sea of Stars. 100%. <laughs> True ending. True ending. We're not doing no New Game Plus. And I still have an hour left. Don't worry. I got something queued up. But I'm going to have to go offline momentarily to make sure I can cut it easy for YouTube. So, thanks for watching Sea of Stars, and we'll be back in like 30, 40 seconds, hopefully. Toodles.